Welcome back to another Unturned video. Today we're going to go on Rustern server as a solo and we're going to go from a brand new spawn to doing one of my best counter raids in my 8600 hours. If you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more, make sure to drop a like. Let's aim for 400 likes. If we reach that like goal, I'll be doing more Rustern videos in the future. Also make sure to subscribe to reach 50,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Last video I announced the mythical giveaway and this is the winner. If you're watching and you want to claim your prize, please join my Discord over discord.gg slash ldg and contact me over there. Today we're going to another one which is an energized snake. If you guys want to win this mythical make sure that you've liked subscribe and comment something below Gem members also have a higher chance of winning there's also a 10 mythical giveaway happening in the description below so make sure to check it out for your chance to win a free mythical before we dive into the video i want to introduce you to today's sponsor are you trying to start your own hunter network whether it's for survival roleplay or you want to play a server with you and your friends then make sure to look no further than pine hosting with pine hosting you can set up your server very easily they offer very high performance servers and the interface is very user friendly when i started hosting my own servers I had no idea how to do anything, but after a few minutes on Pine Hosting's navigation, I did learn the basics in a very short time. They have locations scattered across the globe, and the pricing is also very cheap, and they also have a lot of different games where you can buy servers from, including Rust, Ark, and Minecraft. One of my favorite features is that with one click, you can install plugins and mods very easily. If you have a server with another provider, you don't have to worry because Pine Hosting will help you move your server as well. If you're ready to start your own unturned servers, don't miss the link in the description below, and be sure to use the code LDG for a huge 30% discount, and let's get straight into the video. Alright boys, we're hopping in. Rust turned completely naked. I have nothing in my inventory. I may have actually a little bit of stuff in my vault. I'm gonna create a new group. Uh, server is full of players right now. Let's check out if we have stuff in our vaults. We do have a little bunch of charcoal in this one and in the other one. Uh, a few guns. Alright. You know what? That's good. That'll give us a little bit of a helping start. If we see any high tier players, then we can just take a gun out, kill them. But first things first, what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to find ourselves a decent base location. Today, I want to get myself a base down, want to make myself some raids, go from nothing, hopefully, a lot of PvP, you know, the usual, we spawned a dome, so we can actually get ourselves already a few oil, I don't know if I'm gonna go all the way up, but, I'm gonna farm a little bit, we're gonna see what we're gonna get, I'm gonna see if I can get myself a decent location, I don't know if we should build close to dome, we can give it a try, but there are no recyclers around, well, let's just get ourselves some crude oil first things first, should probably go get a little bit of wood, so that, oh, there already is oil, alright, there we go, let's just cook this, so that whenever we're ready we can have ourselves enough for furnace as well there we go we already got ourselves a little bit of oil pretty sure we can already make a large furnace yeah <laughs> we're getting so much already yep there we go all right so i'm just gonna vault this oil instantly i really don't want to lose it because we're gonna need it even to make doors and all of that all right i'm not gonna loot here actually i'm just gonna get myself a few barrels i'm not gonna get to the top probably there's a little bit of scrap here even more scrap we're gonna need this scrap there's a tuna can lamp as well. Actually, you know what? Let's go to the very top and just see if there's any any elite crates or whatever up there. We can get ourselves some good guns. Yeah, there's a military crate over here. Oh, there we go. Already got ourselves a gun. So our lovely. Bit of more stuff. Got ourselves a vest. Let's put these stuff in vault. We don't want to lose them. Sells a large furnace as well. It's incredible. Let's check out what's inside this box. Another helmet. I'm gonna wear that. Some more oil. Now, usually there are actually people camping on top of the dome, but today I don't think that's the situation. I'm just gonna run through like that. Yeah, there's elite crates up here. Let's hope we get good stuff. Alright, well, tech trash, PCs. We cannot open that one. Bunch of more junk. We got ourselves a salvaged axe already. That's huge. Some high quality, some scrap. Alright, let's just put ourselves the high quality, the pipes, the salvaged axe, tech trash. All of those involved. So if we die, we would actually not lose them. Alright, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna jump down. And I am going to start farming wood, stone, perhaps some metal nodes as well. Find ourselves a base location. Oh, there's a scent, of course. Oh my god. Well, all of that farm just went straight to nothing. It's so annoying when people have sentries outside their base, man. Alright, well, at least we did manage to vault some stuff in our vault, but we just lost a lot of wood and a lot of stone, basically. Right, so I'm gonna build kind of close here. I think over here is a pretty cool location. Not a lot of people actually go here. So I'm just gonna start re-farming again. Hopefully this time I won't die by something dumb like that. 
Alright, so I took the salvage decks out, and this time we're actually getting a lot more wood per hit. Before we were barely getting anything, now we're getting like triple of that per hit, which is honestly crazy. But yeah, there's a guard station here, I think we're gonna build close. Over here we have a recycler, and honestly that's all we really need. Let's put that back in, we got ourselves more than enough wood. Now I'm just gonna actually hit as much barrels as possible. Got ourselves both tools, so that I won't lose the salvage pickaxe if I die. And then we're gonna recycle everything we get from here, and then I'll start looking for a base location. Not a lot of people will probably go here, which is good. We got ourselves a little bit of scrap. There's a uh, salvaged pickaxe now. All right, perfect. We got both salvaged. Right, let's put the tarp in there so that we get ourselves clothed for a bed. And right, let's let this give us as much as possible. And meantime, we'll loot around four more items. Alright, base location has been found. For now, I'm not gonna build anything special, just a 2 by one with a triangular, we'll upgrade later. Here we go, got ourselves two doorways for a honeycomb and an airlock. Let's just place all the walls. Let's get ourselves a floor, there we go. Technically, base is done. <laughs> we just need to do the doors. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna place the cupboard there. Let's put it there, and we're gonna get ourselves some wood in there. And now, the metal that we got from the recycler run. Get ourselves two doors. First one there. Actually, we need to do a code lock really quickly. Put the second door to. Code lock over there. Lovely. Another code lock for this door. And I'm gonna have to do another one for the tool cupboard. Alright, let's go. Lovely. Now, let's make ourselves a bag. And there we go. Let's claim it. Now, I'm gonna upgrade this base into stone already we do have more stone in our vault after this we can make ourselves a furnace then we'll start running around looking for hopefully some pvp getting better loot and we are out of stone we're gonna have to farm a little bit more i thought we had enough actually we do have a little bit in here so let's just use what we have there we go base is full stone as well so now it got a little bit stronger at least all right, so now let's make ourselves a furnace. Oh, yeah, we need the oil from our vault. That's the other vault. All right, there we go. We actually have a large furnace, but for now we'll do a normal furnace. Because it'll take up the whole base and we don't want that. Start cooking some metal. Let's put all of these items in the TC for now. We're starting to have a pretty good start. I mean, we didn't see anyone. We already died to a sentry though, but we already have a base down. All right, so we made ourselves a box as well. Let's put the second one over here. Made ourselves two code locks for them. All right, there we go. Now we gotta fill up these boxes because we have barely have any loot. We do have a little bit of scrap though. So with it, we can make ourselves a workbench. All we need is a little bit of metal. There we go. We got ourselves workbench. I don't really think I have anything learned already. Nope, we don't have anything learned. All right, good. We're gonna have to farm a little bit of scrap, obviously. But that shouldn't really be too hard. Just gotta make ourselves a few recycler runs, basically. Let's put the scrap there. Now we can actually empty our vaults. We got two can lamps. We could place them around the base. It'll make the base look a little bit more cozy. There we go. Put the third one here as well. Get ourselves a lot of tuna can lamps. Let's put the fourth one there. We still have more. Fifth one. Yeah, that's that's enough tuna can lamps. All right, so the furnace is done smelting as well. All right, so now I think I'm gonna actually do a farming run either with the salvage pickaxe. Try to get myself sulfur, metal. Maybe some high quality would be good. Oh, there's somebody with a heli, man. They're going quite close, actually. We just got done with a pretty good farm. I'm gonna home. Got ourselves a lot of wood. Made myself another workbench. We're gonna have all three of them, obviously. Oh, yeah, we're back. We'll put workbench level one over here. I don't think I learned anything here either. Yep. I start learning until we get to Satchel. That's what I want to do today. I want to learn Satchel and we're going to raid with Satchels because they're actually quite easy to make and they do make a lot of damage when it comes to raiding. Let's put ourselves sulfur and metal ore so that they'll start cooking. But yeah, pretty good run. Uh, didn't see anyone except that heli. Kind of want to find those heli dudes. All right, so we're going to continue upgrading. Made ourselves a few triangular. Put a wall there. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know what kind of base design I'm going for. I'm just building randomly. And then I guess for the second floor, I don't know if I can make stairs here, but... We can make be make. Yeah, that's not gonna work. On the second floor, I'm gonna do like the furnace room where we'll have large furnaces. That's that's basically gonna be it. I don't know if we should build this part of over here, to be honest. I think we could just seal this area up. And then we could do like a ramp on the other side of the base, upgrade from that side. So let's just do that. All right, let's put the door over there. Then we'll continue upgrading the rest over here. Since I don't even know if I have any more stone. Alright, so we did manage to build an external one by one over here. For now, it's still sealed off. I don't really want to risk it. Somebody shows up and kills me and they would literally get access to my base. We got an HMLMG just in case. Don't really want to risk, man. Alright, so now we demolish this basically. Let's just get ourselves 
A little more wood. We continue building this part. Just finishing off the walls. There we go. And the second floor is technically done. Just gonna make the roofs. Yeah, let's build over here. I think I built one extra by mistake outside, but it's fine. We'll just demolish it later. All right, and base is done. Lovely. Up here will be the furnace room. We can move this workbench as well. We could put it right over here, right under the stairs. That looks quite nice. All right, let's just put some more wood over there. We still have a little bit of more sulfur to cook. Get ourselves some metal too, and let's go. Lovely. Back from a huge run, got a lot of metal, a lot of sulfur, a lot of stone. With this, we can actually build quite a, a large base, man. So I'm really happy with it. Look at all of the stone, it's crazy. I'm trying to find my hammer so that I can upgrade. There we go, there it is. I can upgrade the majority of the base to stone. Because there's still a lot of it wood. I still haven't looked any PvP yet. I'm gonna actually go search around and hire tier monuments, try to get myself some pvp man yeah we're still cooking a lot it's getting cooked quite quickly actually damn very soon we'll start upgrading it to metal actually as well all right so over here we got ourselves uh we're gonna do a garage door later on and here we're gonna do it honeycomb basically you know it's kind of blocked but we could put honeycomb right over there that looks good i guess i don't really know i will focus on honeycombing later on though actually i should have fixed the one in the middle so i don't think i'll be able to yeah Oh, there's someone shooting Boltsy. Very close, actually. Another shot. AK now. I think I'm gonna try to counter that, actually. We've got, got ourselves a lot of gunpowder already. I'm focusing on crafting satchels right now, but since there's shots, I'm gonna go see what's happening. Let's put everything. We'll just go with a gun. Let's take the meds, though. Hotkey. And here we go. I don't really know where that was. Uh, it sounded close, though. Oh, it's somewhere around here. And there's still more going on. Yeah, I saw him. He's behind this road. He's right there. He is dead. Short from behind, but doesn't matter. There we go. Got a nice, nice load. Let's take everything. Got AK Boltsy. Metal clothes. I like that. Yeah, he killed the guy, and I killed him. So I just got the loot for two guys. And we are back in base. Lovely. Double your run. Only took me 30 seconds. We got ourselves, yeah, pretty nice guns. Bunch of ammo. Some components. Nothing that crazy, though. A few grenades. An axe. SMG body. Some pipes. Alright, so I got enough scrap to learn satchel finally. There you go. Huge. And we got ourselves our first satchels. Lovely. I'm still gonna farm for more. We obviously need a lot more. But yeah, we're starting to progress quite quickly, man. We're gonna raid some small bases since we're just gonna use satchels. Especially wooden ones, but we may profit from them. We'll just try to <laughs> we'll try to pick the the good ones, hopefully. Right, I'm gonna do a component run over at the gas station. Oh, there's people there. Oh, this is the heli dudes I saw earlier. I'm gonna try to kill him. Oh my god, I'm hitting the plane. Hit him once only. Yeah, he's dead. Alright, I have a problem with ammo, but let's hope that yeah, he has some ammo. I'm just gonna back up. I'm getting shot at. What? My guy is screaming. He's dead. Why was he screaming like that? He's right there. Hit him. I'm dead. Oh wait, he didn't kill me yet. Bro, I could just vault the guns. Profit. Heavy helmet. The ammo. Alright, easy. I can't vault the other one. Where's the other one? I, I don't have anything to vault, to be honest. Yeah, I'm dead. No, well, kind of. We profited. We lost a little bit of materials, but we gained another gun. There we go. It's kind of stupid that the server, you can actually vault when you are down. But yeah, we got ourselves a little bit of sulfur from that run. I didn't manage to vault it. Let's just put it in our large furnace. There we go. Lovely. All right, so just uh, finished another run. Not even gonna bother waiting for the cloth, that doesn't matter. But we got ourselves a lot of frags and a lot of uh, scrap too. So that's that's pretty nice. We're gonna home now. Bro, we're getting everything just from this one location, it's crazy. Obviously not uh, excluding the high tier loot. Uh, we can start learning workbench too. There we go, hazmat, so that we can start going to actually good locations. Let's learn the uh, few guns as well. Got ourselves salvaged pickaxe. But with the hazmat now, we can start going to cargo, and over there, there's a crate which we can break, which can give us some really good loot, including high-tier PvP guns, 
I'm pretty sure even rocket launchers. But we'll do that later. Right now, let's not focus on that. Right now, I'm focusing on uh, making as much satchels as possible. All right, boys, we just found our first base raid. It's stone, but it's made of uh, wooden door. Um, takes only 375 HP. Let's just throw a few satchels. I don't really know how much it'll take, but we're gonna test it out. We got three till now. Right next to our base. So if we do die, then... Oh, it didn't break. All right, let's see how much HP it is at now. 49, yeah. Alright, yeah, broke. I kind of just wasted two satchels. And, of course, there's a metal door. Oh my god, <laughs> there's no way. It is a little bit damaged, but it's not gonna be enough. That's alright, I'm just gonna have to go back to base then and just farm more. We still have four satchels left, but I don't think it's gonna be enough, man. Yep, and how much HP is it at? 257. Alright, yeah, we're just gonna need to farm a little bit more. No problem. Only took me a few minutes to get those 10 satchels. And then we will return. Now we're back with a few more. Let's honestly hope that there's actually gonna be loot in there. I'll just throw three for now. Just in case there's crates or something in there. Yep, we're through. And TC, bad character. And yeah, there... Okay, well, there's a hazmat suit. That's it. Uh, there's a double barrel. Uh, okay, well, we got a little bit of stone. But nothing too good, man. Definitely was not worth it, unfortunately. First trade of the day, big L. Alright, so all that metal that we've smelted, we're gonna start upgrading the base into full metal. So now the base is a little bit stronger, so people trying to raid, you know, be harder for them, hopefully. Unless a 10-man Zerg just decides to raid my base. But at least they would waste more. And there's people raiding a base. Okay, well, uh, I am definitely gonna go for it, 100%. I don't know if it is this base, to be honest. I think so. Yeah, it... it it is. It's this base getting raided right now. Oh my god. Yeah, there's people with AKs in there. I'm gonna try to counter. Thankfully, sentries are off. Yeah, there's people walking in there. There's multiple people in there. I'm gonna give this a try. I cannot do the jump, man. Alright, there we go. They may not even realize that I'm pushing them. No, they just all put out their guns. Here, they're at the bottom. Let's go down. Another floor down. Oh, they're here. Oh my god. Oh my god, I just killed all of them. Bro, there is no way. Oh my god, and they're stacked. Bro, there's so much metal. Satchels. Bro, another AK. Oh, there's people still. I hear people. Let's take the guns. Bro, there's so much HQM. Lockers, metal for days. All right, we need to vault. We're gonna have to vault. There's people. I hear people walking around. I can't even... I'm gonna get out of here, man. I'm gonna try... Oh. All right, killed two more. Bro, there's no way I got this amount of loot. I'm gonna vault. Even though my vault is full with... All right, we'll put the hazmat there. Heavy there. We just got so much high quality. It's crazy. Another MP5. Ammo. Night vision. Let's take that vest. Bro, there's no way I just countered. How much? I think it was a four or five man team. I hear them walking around. All right, let's home. Let's home. Bro, if I survive this. I hear them walking out there, man. They have shotguns. Oh my god. Bro, I survived. I survived. Look at this amount of loot I just got. Satchels. Guns. This HQM is insane. Bro, this is incredible. I did not expect that run. Uh, they must be so mad. I could have stayed there and raided those lockers, but I would have just died. 100% I would have died. Well, with that HQM, I'm probably just gonna upgrade base to full HQM. I got probably more than enough. Alright, so we just upgraded a huge part. Basically, this floor is full high quality. And we still have more. Alright. Not bad. Not bad. I'm very happy with that counter. I'm gonna try to go back. Even if I kill him and I just get a gun, I'm happy with that. Oh, we're back. There's beds back here. It's not even. They're claimed. Wait, what? Bro, I just heard this man. Bro, there's no way I just heard them respawn. He's coming back. Yeah, let's destroy the bed. There we go. Alright, yeah, he has uh, even more satchels. Bro, there's no way. I'm getting out of here, man. We got ourselves another full gear set. Satchels and everything. Beacon cans. Lovely. It's mad up. Alright, so we're doing another recycler run. A uh, lot of lot of scrap. Got a lot of blades as well. A lot of loot, man. Alright, boys, so after that I actually did leave the server. I did continue running around a little bit. I actually teamed up with a friend. And we started doing some raids, but we found one raid which was mainly wood and there was absolutely nothing in it. I think the owners literally left it just to decay. And then I did head off. It was a very fun few hours as a solo and I really hope that you guys did enjoy. If you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, just let me know in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching till the end and I will see you in the next one. Bye!